news out of South L.A. tonight where a motel fire sends four people to the hospital. It's Naomi and 81st, thanks to L.A. City firefighters quick action. All four victims were rescued and were taken to the hospital and are now receiving medical care. We're hearing all are in fair condition, but look at that scene there. Mm. Three had smoke inhalation, one had burns on their foot. Also tonight, new details after a violent night in Lancaster, a rash of shootings left four people in uh, bad shape. The mayor making an urgent plea. It's a fairly common sight these days, a sinkhole in the middle of the street. One local community is having a hard time getting it fixed. We now have the largest deficit in the history of our country under this guy. We have the largest deficit with China. He gets paid by China. He's a Manchurian candidate. He gets money from China. We have, so I think he's afraid to deal with them or something. Going into tonight's debate, more than 50% of Democrats said they would have preferred another candidate to be their nominee. Gallup poll released earlier today has just 42% of Democrats happy with President Joe Biden as their nominee. 79% of Republicans polled were satisfied with Trump as their nominee. But tonight... Who knows if they're thinking the same thing? The number uh, is going to grow in terms of Democrats who want another nominee. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 10. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Christine Devine. President Biden and former President Trump facing off in what could potentially be a game changer and possibly the only debate of this race. Did you watch? It is the first debate, perhaps, in the 2024 election. Fox's Madison Scarpino is live in Atlanta with more. Christine Ellix, it was an interesting one to watch. A lot of back and forth, a lot of insults, disagreements. But of course, the stakes were extremely high here in Atlanta as both candidates made their case for a second term.